Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Poof, you're a match. <laughs> Back to our stupid reactions, Edith. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And he calls an Instagram, Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Juicy content. Juicy content. Juicy content. Juicy content. Juicy Also, I'm personally with two Bang! Ring the bell to perform on the case. Squad. Bang! What? The box says cabinet locks? Yeah. I thought it said cannabis locks. Oh, that'd be even better. It would be. That'd be really cool. Like, to prevent your kid from getting in, they just grab the thing and it's it in your face. <laughs> The kid gets stoned and they don't even remember why they went to the cabinet. Yeah. And, well, they got the munchies now. I had to get these magnetic cabinet locks because Leland is opening everything. So, there you go. Wonderful. Uh, but today we're reacting to a little video. It's called The Top 5 Greatest Kings in India. Wow. wow. So, I'm guessing it's going to go cool. back to Baji Ramasani type. Of awesome. Back in the day. Wonderful. Because we don't know anything about outside of the films we've seen. Yep. Baji Ramasani, Padmavat. Will be educated, um, but I don't really remember their names. Yeah, I, I guess I know one. Baji Ramasani, King Kong. Who is he from? That's a sarke. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> Play the hands <laughs> like you're a king. Get this thing. Get this thing. India is probably one of the richest countries in the world in terms of its history and heritage, Accurate. in terms of rulers and ruling clans. Thousands Next of years America. have passed, and the country has seen several dynasties, rulers, emperors, and conquerors. <laughs> Let us take a look at some the of whites. the greatest kings that ruled this land. This ranking is based on the it's number of years ruled, the total between. region ruled, and the impact on India okay, the rule had. Before we get on with the list, do not forget to subscribe to Simply Chuma and do press the bell icon for immediate notification so of our new videos. Number 5. Shivaji Shivaji Bhosle was the founder and the greatest king of the Maratha Empire. Hailing from the Bhosle Maratha clan, he created an independent Maratha kingdom with Raigad as its capital. He was crowned as Chhatrapati for leading the struggle against the Adil Shahi Sultanate of Bijapur and the Mughal Empire. He is remembered as a great warrior and a hero who united most of India mm. against the Mughals. Shivaji is also yeah, known for pioneering the guerrilla warfare methods using geography, speed and surprise for attacks against more powerful and larger enemies. Number 4. Prithviraj Chauhan Prithviraj is considered to be the greatest warrior of India and also and one of the greatest mustache. in the world. Right. He was known as the warrior king. Chauhan was the last independent Hindu king before Hemu to sit upon the throne of Delhi. He succeeded the throne in 1169 AD at the age of 20 and ruled the twin capitals of Ajmer and Delhi. He defeated the mighty Bhimdev, ruler of Gujarat, at the mere age of 13. He was trained in archery and could aim at a target while being blindfolded. His love story How with his enemy, Jai Chand's daughter, Samyukta or Sanyogita, is very famous. He rode off with her on the day of her swayambar. Number 3. Raja Raja Chola He was popularly known as Raja Raja the Great. Raja Raja translates to the King of Kings. He is one of the greatest emperors of India. He went down in history as the harbinger of the heights of the Chola glory. It was during his reign that the Chola dynasty started to emerge as a great empire. By conquering several kingdoms in India, he expanded the Chola empire as far as Sri Lanka in the south and Kalinga, Odisha in the northeast. Raja Raja Chola was one of the greatest sovereigns of South India. A valiant conqueror and empire builder, an able administrator, a patron of arts and letters. He was a great patron of Tamil literature as during his reign, the texts of the famous Tamil poets Appar, Sambandar and Sundarar were collected and edited into one compilation called Tirumurai. <laughs> Nandi, 
He initiated a massive project of land survey and assessment in 1000 AD, which strengthened the imperial administration and led to the reorganization of the empire into units known as Valanadas. He built the famous Brihadeshwarar temple, which is one of the largest and tallest temples in India. Number two, Chandragupta Maurya. He was the founder of the Maurya Empire and the first emperor to unify most of Greater India into one state. He ruled from 322 BC until his voluntary retirement and abdication yes, in no favor all. of his son Bindusara in 298 BC. Chandragupta Maurya was a pivotal figure in the history of India. Prior to his consolidation of power, most of the Indian subcontinent was divided into small states, while the Nanda Empire dominated the Indus Gangetic Plain. Chandragupta succeeded in conquering and subjugating almost all of the Indian subcontinent by the end of his reign, except the Tamil regions, the Chera, Chola and Pandya, and the modern-day state Odisha or Kalinga. His empire extended from Bengal in the east to Afghanistan and Balochistan in the west oh, wow. to the Himalayas and Kashmir oh, wow. in the north and to the Deccan Plateau in the south. It is the largest empire yet seen in Indian history. Number 1 Ashoka. He was commonly known as Ashoka or Ashoka the Great. One of India's greatest emperors, Ashoka reigned over a realm that stretched from the Hindu Kush mountains in the west to Bengal in the east and covered the entire Indian subcontinent except parts of present-day Tamil Nadu and Kerala. No one can The empire's capital that. was Patliputra in Magadha, present-day Bihar, with provincial capitals at Taxila and Ujjain. In about 260 BC, Ashoka waged a bitterly destructive war against the state of Kalinga. He conquered Kalinga, which none of his ancestors had done. Kalinga. He embraced Buddhism after witnessing the mass deaths of the Kalinga war, which he himself had waged out of a desire for conquest. Ashoka reflected on the war in Kalinga, which reportedly had resulted in more than 100,000 deaths and 150,000 deportations. Ashoka converted gradually to Buddhism beginning about 263 BC. What do you think of this list? Do press the like button if you enjoyed this video and share it with your friends Maybe and family. How many kings and well not, if you have like the oldest civilization basically, right? And, right, they all either are or debated are one or two of the oldest civilizations on the planet. Yeah, it's so them China and Egypt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh um, I mean that are the most prominent with a global yeah, expansiveness and known and and they've had a ton of people try to take them over. Yeah. And like cuz I think obviously the Mogols did, the Chinese did, obviously the English did. Yep. Um <clears throat> there was a a ton of that but to there's so much history <laughs> like and I, I didn't know any one of those names. Neither did I. Yeah. I was expecting to see some of like the some some movie we've seen of, right. of one some of the historic episodes that just shows you how many they've actually had yep just amazing to me just still continue to learn and i would love to learn more about like all of these like because like yeah history especially when it's good history yeah um is is fun to learn about um because you learn about all these different rulers some of them it seems like tamil to do is a very difficult Yeah, Reason to take over for a lot of them. Yeah, I don't know the if Tamil Nadu people are very pr proud people. Yeah, and I don't know if that's terrain or it's just they fought them off or whatever that might be. It, it's just it's really intriguing the the amount of history in every way in artistry in politics in uh, religious expression. It's encyclopedic. It's just it's just never ending. That was really interesting. You know how hard it is to rule over especially like at that time an entire continent the way oh. some of them took over like how do how does how do you even do that i know like alexander the great yeah you what you do is you you give power to other men who are you and loyal to you yeah know. that you give them enough that it makes them feel rewarded but don't give them so much that they feel like they could take you over because mm -hmm. that happens to a lot of the kings they give the power to people and then they get too <laughs> uppity and then they have to kill them and replace them and that's why most most dictatorial empires don't last mm. because the dictators attract dictators yeah <laughs> so uh, uh and uh, you know not not equating any of these kings to d dictatorship i'm talking about singular 
rulership, and I couldn't think of another term for it other than dictatorial, and that you have, you. whether it's a king or an emperor, or I wasn't talking about style of leadership, just singularity of Yeah, because we don't know anything about any of these. None of them. Don't know anything about them other than they were conquerors. But and, I, I, like, we've seen so many different movies or, or whatever trailers where it's depicted a different king or different ruler at the time. Yeah. And a lot of them are, um, they say they were great rulers, or I guess in, in certain aspects, like, um, they weren't the, like, in Padma, uh, Renvir, who, he was playing, like, some villain, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but he was a ruler. Right. Uh, he was, like, an, an evil... Well, they were there. There's been a lot of bad rulers. <laughs> we know one right now pretty well. Who? I don't know who you're <coughs> talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, if there's more videos that can uh, teach us history, uh, of... India, different times in India, different people of Indian yes. history. You know we're all about that. So yep. let us know more down below. <laughs>